Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do a little little project, a little quickie. Uh, this is how I make eyelets for electrical things. Uh, this is this particular thing is for 12 volts DC. It works a uh, uh, electric over hydraulic setup on a bale spike, and this thing has electrical issues. Uh, it was not getting sufficient voltage back to the control solenoid to actually engage the solenoid that reversed the fluid flow through the through the uh, valving system. So what I'm doing here, this is 12 gauge SJ cord. Uh, ignore the color code because the color code doesn't matter. This is DC uh, control circuitry and they make up their own colors. I'm just copying what was there. So what I've done is split the wire basically into two halves, twisted the two halves. Now I'm twisting them back together. And this is going over a 5 16 stud. So this is a 3 8 or a piece of a 3 8 bolt. And I'm going to wrap this around the 3 8 bolt backward both ways a couple of times. I'm just going to take the excess and kind of bring it off straight from the sides here. Now we'll put her put her here in my helping hands. There we go. That's laying good and flat. Okay, we got her in the helping hands. And this is electrical solder. It is rosin core. Do not use acid core or solid core solder. Oops. Do not use acid core or solid core solder to do anything electrical. It, it just won't work. This stuff is expensive. It's about 20 bucks a pound, or I mean about 40 bucks a pound. But 40 bucks a pound is a whole lot better than not working. Whoop. And make sure you get everything really good with the solder, even your tag ends that you're going to cut off. Now we're going to let that cool for a minute. And now that it's cool, get my helping hands out of the way, I'm just going to take some end nippers. That should have been thrown away a long time ago. I'm just going to trim off the excess. Maybe clean up just a little bit of this right here. There we go. Okay, this is going to last as long or longer than any other crimp connection will ever last. And this is not going to do like a crimp connection and draw moisture and corrode at the connection. That was the whole problem with this project. The whole, the whole reason it broke down on the old boy that owns it was it had drawn moisture in about 500 crimp connections on it and I was only getting about four volts up to the control solenoid. It would it would make the relay work but it would not move the solenoid plunger back and forth so the bell spike would only go one direction. So that's my little tip. This will eventually break. It'll break off right in here somewhere that's okay. It's going to take it years to do that. It's going to take it months to corrode. So there you go. Hope this helps somebody. Please remember, like, subscribe, share. Tell everybody you know. Y'all have a good one. Drive safe.